Hello friends, in this video we will read chapter 2, Children at Work. Before you read, there are many reasons why children have to work. Some help their family make a livelihood. Others who run away from unhappy homes need to support themselves. Children who have to work can't go to school and play like other children of their age. First comprehension, Velu, an 11 year old boy runs away from home. He wanders around for hours before getting on a train to Chennai without a ticket. Tired and hungry, he doesn't know where to go when a stranger at the station shouts a word of welcome. When the Kanyakumari Express pulled in at Chennai Central, it took Velu some time to get off. When he finally stood on the platform, his legs felt wobbly as if he was still on a moving train. Oye, out of the way. A porter went by with a loaded trolley. Velu jumped aside. He sat on a bench on the platform, putting his small bundle down. In all his 11 years, he had never seen so many people, except once a year at the fair in his village. People walked by, bumping into him with their suitcases. A voice announced something on a loudspeaker. Pulled in meaning arrived, wobbly meaning unsteady. Near him, a group of people sat on their luggage, looking at a TV hanging from the roof. The noise was terrible. Velu put his head down on his knees, feeling miserable and exhausted. He had run away from his village two days ago. For two days, he had eaten nothing but some peanuts and a piece of jaguar. In his bundle, he carried a shirt, a towel and a comb. He had walked for most of the first day to Kanur and then got on the train to Chennai. Velu had no money for a ticket, but luckily, the ticket collector didn't come to the unreserved compartment. He had tried to sleep on the floor near the door. A group of men next to him had played cards and shouted all night. Hey, what? New to town, huh? Called out a rough voice. Velu opened his eyes. There were a lot of people standing around, but nobody was looking at him. Here, eh? Hey. He turned around. Behind him was a girl around his own age, wearing a long banyan that came down to her knees. Her hair was stiff and brownish and she had a huge sack on one shoulder. She was picking up dirty plastic cups from the floor and stuffing them into her sack. Why is she calling me? thought Velu. And why is a girl wearing a banyan? No need to stare stupidly. What's your name? Velu, muttered Velu, looking away. So Mr. Velu, said the girl, looking at his bundle, run away from home. Velu didn't answer. He didn't want to tell some strange girl what he had done. He had run away because he couldn't stand his father beating him for one more day. His father would snatch away all the money Velu and his sisters earned and spend it on drink. Don't think I don't know. This place is full of children like you. So what are you going to do here? Become rich? She sat down next to him. Velu shifted away slightly. He felt hunger pinching him and pressed his stomach with a grimace. Hungry? Asked the girl. You won't get food by sitting here glumly, making faces. I can find some if you want. She picked up her sack and started to walk away. Velu stayed on the bench. What should he do? Should he follow this girl? Where was she going to take him? She was disappearing into the crowd, so he had to make up his mind quickly. All right, he decided. Anyway, I have no idea where to go. He jumped up and ran after her. She wasn't even looking back to see where he was. What meaning? Grimace? Twisted expression on the face due to pain? Glumly? Sadly? Gloomily? Comprehension 1. Question answers. Question 1. Velu stood on the platform but he felt as if he was still on a moving train. Why? Answer: Velu had run away from his home to Chennai by catching the Kanyakumari Express. He travelled in a train for the first time and as he got off the train and stood on the platform, he felt his legs were shaky and wobbly. Besides, he was very hungry and stressed and felt as though he was still on a moving train. Second question. What made him feel miserable? Answer: 
Velu felt exhausted and miserable as he laid down his head on his knees because he had run away from his village 2 days ago due to the torture inflicted upon him by his drunkard father he had not eaten anything in the past 2 days except for some peanuts and a piece of jaggery he felt lost and hopeless when he arrived in the big city question 3 first velu traveled without a ticket why answer velu left his village because he was annoyed with his drunkard father who used to grab away all that he and his sisters earned and spend it on drinks hence he traveled without a ticket because he had no money to buy a train ticket for himself second how did he escape the ticket collector's attention answer velu could escape the ticket collector's attention because luckily the ticket collector didn't come to the unreserved compartment he tried to sleep on the floor near the door as he had no ticket question 4 Why had Velu run away from home? Answer: Velu was from a poor family, and he and his sisters worked hard for a living. But his drunkard father would snatch away all their earnings and spend it on drinking. The little boy ran away from his home as he was very annoyed with his father. Question five: Why did he decide to follow the strange girl? Answer: Velu decided to follow the strange girl because. He was new in the big city and didn't know where to go or what to do. Meanwhile, he was also very hungry and stressed as he had not eaten any food for the past 2 days. Comprehension 2. Velu follows his friend through the crowded streets to a big building. Behind the building there is a big garbage bin. Velu wonders why they are there at all. He caught up with the girl as she was leaving the station. When they got to the road Velu found that the vehicles kept coming and never stopped for anyone. Smoke and dust flew at him from all sides, making his head spin. They had to wait for a long time before they could find a gap to run through. Velu kept hesitating and the girl finally dragged him to the other side. "What do you think you are doing? Grazing cows? If you stand around in the middle of the road like that, you will be chutney." Velu's heart was still beating fast. He looked back at Central Station and the traffic speeding by. How had they managed to come through that? Word meaning making his head spin, giving him a headache, making him feel dizzy. Second, chutney. Here, run over, killed, crushed and ground into chutney. They walked along the side of the road under some huge signboards. Velu looked up at the pictures. Banyans, car tires, pens, a woman holding a box. The writing was all in English, so he didn't know what it meant. The girl turned onto a wide bridge and walked up. Velu stopped and peeped over the railing. Under him, the road ran into the city. In the distance, he could see huge buildings and towers and more roads. See that big building with the wall around it. If you are not careful, you'll soon be counting bars there. The girl grinned and pointed at a huge building. Velu squinted and read the Tamil sign, Central Jail. Why? I haven't done anything wrong. You don't have to do anything. Just don't get caught, that's all. What does she mean? Velu wondered. Meanwhile, the girl was already heading down the bridge with the sack on her shoulder. What was in it? He had seen her putting plastic cups into it at the station. What are you carrying in that bag? things bottles paper velu wondered what she was doing with them but he felt shy to ask any more questions it was still morning but the sun blasted down on the tar and velu's bare feet burned it was not like walking on a mud road he was soaked with sweat he tried hard to walk in the shade and keep up with the girl at the same time she walked really fast how far away was the food After almost an hour of walking they stopped in front of a big building Sri Raja Rajeshwari Prasanna Kalyana Mandapam Red Velu slowly a sign with letters made of flowers said Groom JB Vinyagan Bright Rani Velu started at the big cars parked outside one of the cars had a flower garland and roses taped onto it the girl looked around pulled one off quickly and stuck it in her hair 
Come on, she said. Are we going to eat here? Asked Vilu. Looking at the huge hall and the people inside. Oops, said the girl shaking her thumb under his nose. She led him behind the hall. There was a big garbage bin overflowing with rubbish. Two goats were standing on the pile fighting for a banana leaf. A cloud of flies buzzed around their legs. There was a rotten smell in the air. The girl picked up a squishy banana and held it out to Velu. Here's your food. Velu was shocked. Are we going to eat their leftovers? Chi, what do you think I am? A dog? I only take untouched food. Here, some more. Catch. She threw him a vada. Velu looked at it with distaste. Come on, hero. Eat it. You think I like it? I told you, I'll find you something to eat. Don't think I have money to buy food for you. You better eat what you get until you have your own money. Velu hesitated, but his stomach squeezed him again. He gulped down the banana and vada. His stomach felt better immediately. He could have eaten at least ten times more. But the girl could find only one more banana which she ate herself. Word meaning? Squashy? Crushed. Stomach squeezed him. He was very hungry. His stomach, which was empty, twist and pain, gulped down, swallowed quickly, without chewing. It's too early. They have only eaten tiffin. If you are still hungry, you will have to wait for them to finish lunch. You can wait if you want. I have to work. I am going. She picked up a couple of bottles from the heap and threw it into her sack. Then she walked off. Velu panicked. He realized that if the girl left him, he had no idea where he was and what to do. It was better to stick to her. She seemed to know her way around. He ran after her again. Hey, he called. He did not even know the girl's name. Hey, what is your name? He asked, hurrying behind her. She stopped and turned around. Oh ho, so you have been following me around without even knowing my name? Jaya. I am not following you. What then? Who got you food? Can I come with you? Where are you going? Come if you want. This bag is full. I have to go home to get another one. Comprehension 2 Question Answers Question 1 Can Velu read Tamil and English? How do you know? Answer Velu could not read the huge signboards that were written in English as he didn't know what they meant. However, when he walked past the central jail, he squinted and read it as it was written in Tamil. Question 2 If you are not careful, you will soon be counting bars there, the girl said. First, what is she referring to? Answer, she was referring to the central jail. Second, what does she mean when she says, if you are not careful? She says something a little later, which means the same. Find that sentence. Answer, when she said to Velu, if you are not careful, she meant that he should never get caught to be put behind bars. Besides, she also meant that they should be extra cautious and not do anything stupid to avoid getting caught by the policeman. The other sentence that the girl told him was, you don't have to do anything. Just don't get caught, that's all. Question 3. First, where did the girl let Velu to? Answer. The girl led Velu to a big wedding hall and rushed behind it, where there was a big garbage bin overflowing with rubbish. She picked up a squishy banana and held it out to him. As she knew, he was starving and quickly picked up a vada and gave him to eat. Second, what did they get to eat? Answer, Velu got a squishy banana and a vada, whereas the girl only got a banana to eat. Question 4. What work did she do? Think of a one word answer. Answer The girl worked as a rag picker. Comprehension third There is a row of huts near some dirty puddles. Outside one of the huts, Jaya dumps her sack. Grateful to his friend, Velu thinks of the days ahead. Jaya and Velu walked along the roads for half an hour until they came to a bridge across a dirty trickle of water. We are in Triplicane now. See, that's Buckingham Canal, said Jaya. Word meanings Tiffin. Snack, not a proper meal. Panic, was very worried. Velu started. This was a canal. 
near some puddles of water was a row of the strangest huts he had ever seen they were built out of all sorts of things metal sheets tires bricks wood and plastic they stood crookedly and looked as if they would fall any moment is this where you live these houses are strange said velu in our village the houses are made of mud and palm leaves jaya went around to one of the huts and dumped her sack outside then she picked up an empty one let's go she turned to velu and gave him a show at least help me now here wear these and come with me she threw him a pair of old shoes without laces and pushed a sack and a stick into his hands velu was confused what work did she want him to do with these things the only work he had ever done was on the land owner's farm weeding and taking cows out to graze are there any farms in the city he asked jaya word meanings crookedly not straight show means push weeding means working in a field removing grass digging etc she laughed and thumbed her stick on the ground farms there are no farmers here we are rag pickers rag pickers see my sack full of things i collected collected from where as velu from rubbish bins where else you collect rubbish velu had never heard of such a thing a hey, blockhead it's not any rubbish only paper plastic glass such things we sell it to jam bazaar jaggu velu was puzzled he had heard of people throwing away rubbish but why would anyone want to buy rubbish who's jam bazaar jaggu why is he buying all this you think he buys it for show he sells it to a factory come on i don't have time to waste like you velu did not move he hadn't run away and come to this new place to dig through garbage bins jaya poked at him with her stick look here she shouted if someone gets there before us we don't get anything don't just stand there posing big hero i am trying to help you who filled your stomach today velu scratched his head and sighed i'll do it for now he thought until i find a better job geeta wolf anushka ravi shankar origit sen from trash on rag picker children and recycling word meanings blockhead pool posing looking important hoping to impress others comprehension 3 question answers first what material are the strange huts made out of answer the strange huts were built from the strange huts were built from all sorts of things such as metal sheets tires bricks wood and plastic second why does velu find them strange answer in velu's village the houses were made of mud and palm leaves but he found the huts in the city to be strange because they were made up of different stuff such as metal sheets tires bricks wood and plastic they stood crookedly and looked as if they would fall any moment he had actually visited a slum area for the first time and he was quite surprised by looking at them and wondered how people lived in them and from where they got such stuff to build their huts second question what sort of things did jaya and children like her collect and what did they do with those things answer jaya and other children like her collected paper plastic glass and other similar things they sold all these things to jam bazaar jaggu who further sold them to a nearby factory question 3 is velu happy or unhappy to find work give a reason for your answer answer although velu had run away from his home he was unhappy to find the work of a rag picker as he had to dig through garbage bins he remembered that the only work he had ever done was on the land owner's farm weeding and taking cows out to graze however he decided to work as a rag picker in the meantime until he found a better job for himself exercise discuss the following questions in small groups write their answers afterwards question 1 is velu a smart boy which instances in the text show that he is or isn't answer velu was initially a very naive boy who ran away from his village to avoid the torture of his drunkard father however when he arrived in a big city chennai he felt lost and miserable among so many people soon he met jaya a rag picker who helped him get food as she realized he was starving 
From then on, Velu acted smartly by following her as he didn't know where to go or what to do in such a big city. On his way, he read the central jail hoarding written in Tamil and Jaya warned him that he should not do anything stupid and should avoid getting caught by the policeman. He kept following her until she took him to the slum area where he saw the strange huts made of metal sheets, tires, bricks, wood and plastic. They stood crookedly and looked as if they would fall any moment. Soon Jaya told him how she and other children collected glass, paper and other stuff and hand it over to Jam Bazaar Jaggu, who further sold them to a factory nearby. Seeing all this, Velu agrees to work as a rag picker like Jaya for the time being until he finds a suitable job for himself. Question 2. Do you think Jaya is brave and sensitive child with a sense of humor? Find instances of her courage, kind nature and humor in the text. Answer: Yes. Jaya was a brave and sensitive child with a good sense of humor. She was of the same age as Velu and worked as a rag picker and knew well how to survive in the city. She knew all the roads across the city and knew where she could find food to eat. However, when she met Velu at the railway station, she roamed about the city with him by collecting glass, paper and bottles and also got him some food to eat from a garbage bin behind a wedding hall. She tried to help him in all possible ways and told him to join her in rag picking work. She gave him a pair of old shoes without laces and pushed a sack and a stick into his hands. However, we also noticed that She has a humorous nature when she asks Velu if he has come to Chennai to become a rich person. She also helps him to cross the busy streets and told him that if he continued to stand still in the middle of the road like that, he would get run over by the huge vehicles unnecessarily. Question 3. What one throws away as waste may be valuable to others. Do you found this sentence meaningful in the context of this story? How? Answer The story Children at Work depicts the sad plight of slum dwellers mostly the children who have to work as rag pickers to sustain and feed themselves in big cities it shows how the rubbish that we throw away in the garbage is being collected by these children to make a livelihood for themselves people throw away leftover food bottles and paper which are collected by these children and they earn money by selling these to nearby factories as a matter of fact waste thrown away by someone becomes a blessing or a source of income for another therefore difficult circumstances compel such children to work as rag pickers and they earn a living from it friends we have completed this chapter we have read the chapter and, and also did all the question answers if you like the video if you like the video kindly share it with your friends in case you have not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe it so that new video notifications could reach you i am webhav signing off take care of yourself and respect elders thank you for watching